No matter where you're selling, it all starts initially with the product. You can make videos, you can run ads, you can list any number of products, right? But if they're not in demand, if nobody wants them, you're already fighting an uphill battle and you're going to struggle. On the contrary, I always say, if you start ahead of time with something that's in demand, that is clearly trending right now, that solves a problem or a specific pain point, and that people clearly want, not because you think so, but because the data suggests that people are actually buying that right now. If you start there, you can have mediocre videos. Obviously, that's not the goal, right? You want good videos, you want good listings, you want good everything, no matter where you're selling, good ads, whatever. But you can have mediocre videos, mediocre ads, mediocre sales copy, mediocre listings, a mediocre website, whatever, and still get sales simply because you started with the bones of the most important thing, the product. Okay. So in this tutorial, I want to run you through how to use Zeek Analytics. They've recently updated a lot of different functions here. And I used to use Zeek Analytics like every single day when I used to drop ship religiously on Facebook Marketplace a few years back. And since then, they've updated a number of things in their software. It looks completely different. There is a ton of functionality here, not just for places like Facebook Marketplace or eBay. Now, as you'll see here, I am in the dashboard. They have the eBay option. They also have the Shopify, the AliExpress option as well to find products on all these different marketplaces against different competitors. And obviously you don't just need to be selling or planning to sell on one of those specific places. That just provides insight on all these different websites and all these different places of what is selling, why, and here's the data, here's the numbers, right? The stores that are selling it, all their top products. We're gonna run through all of it here in a second. They also are launching Amazon really soon, which I'm really excited about checking out. So up in the top, obviously, depending on where you're selling, first and foremost, you wanna make sure that you have the actual right marketplaces selected, right? So obviously I'm focused on the US. I wanna make sure that I select that to make sure that the products that I'm seeing are relevant to where I'm selling, right? Regardless if I'm you know, drop shipping on Shopify, obviously that would be worldwide. If I'm selling on TikTok shop, obviously that specifically would be for the United States because I'm in the US. If I plan to eventually sell on US eBay or US Amazon, right? Make sure that you have the right place selected no matter where you're selling. Then the next thing that you'll notice is there's tons of options over here on the left, right? So you have the Market Insights dashboard, just kind of like the homepage. Then if you go down, you can see the Store Sales Tracker and the Store Finder. Both of these are really cool functions. So I used to use this all the time. First and foremost, when I was reverse sniping sellers on Amazon because, or eBay, or obviously Facebook Marketplace as well, you can essentially choose the social channel that you're focused on here. So if I was focused on sniping another seller on Facebook Marketplace to find their best products, and I knew their store name, I saw one of their stores, and I saw one of their products selling, and I was like, rather than go through and look at everything manually and have to actually sort through it, same thing with Amazon, same thing with TikTok. Rather than manually sort through, I can just put their store name into Zeek Analytics here, make sure that I select the right social channel, or if it's a Shopify URL, obviously just come up here to the store sales tracker, input the URL, and both of those will work. And then essentially what it will show you is all their top selling products, which ones are the best sellers, how many sales they've actually gotten on those, and you can reverse snipe their top selling products, right? This is a game changer because let's say you have your eye on a specific niche, right? You could ideally go out and find, you know, 10 of the top stores that are selling in that niche, snipe 10 of their best selling products each, so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 across stores, and now you have 100 of the top best selling products that are all your specific competitors, whether you undercut them, whether you improve your offer, whatever the case is, now you know you're not guessing. So the store sales tracker and the store finder, very, very valuable tools. Again, if you're trying to snipe other competitors and obviously improve their offer, one up what they're doing. It's a really good jumping off point to get you further along that metaphorical runway if you're taking off as a plane. Rather than starting at the start line, you're a little bit further along and closer to takeoff. The product explorer is also a really good way to actually research different products in different niches. You can search keywords, you can set the specific country, and again, on the ads channel, this is gonna show you a lot of different products that are being run as ads on places like TikTok, Snapchat, 
Meta, and obviously Pinterest, as you can see here. And that's going to show you the top running ads for that specific niche, that specific category, and those specific keywords within that amount of sales range and that specific country. And that is invaluable because what you want to pay attention to is obviously how they're presenting their products, especially if they're in the same niche as you or selling a similar product to you. What's their core offer? How are they speaking to the target customer? What does their video look like if it's a video ad or what's their picture look like if it's a picture ad? It's gonna provide you all that insight about what's working. And also one thing that you wanna pay attention to if you're using this is the length that the ad's been running, right? How long has it been active? Because if it's something that's only been active for like a week, right? That's very different than something that's been active for six months or a year. The longer the ad has been active and is still running, obviously that is a profitable ad. Obviously that store is making money with that. And so the longer time span that the ad's been running, you can bet your bottom dollar that that's a successful product that you potentially want to emulate, especially if it's in your niche, because they wouldn't run the ad continuously over time if it wasn't profitable. They would shut it off. So all that's really cool. And as you can see, there's a ton of other functionalities and tools within this software. But the easiest way for people to get started, no matter where you're selling, is just go to the dashboard. Obviously, you can see trending stores. You can see trending keywords, which is a game changer because it's going to give you ideas about like what's potentially list, why, and what's hot right now. But one of the easiest ways for anybody to start is just use the trending products in the last 30 days. And for example, obviously, like there's a ton of insight here. You can go after some of these products. But what I like to do, they'll show you all of it. Zeke has all the data for you. They'll show you the price of this specific product, the Miracle Teeth Whitener, for example. They'll show you the store that's selling it if you click on that and all their insight there. The sales of the product, the estimated revenue, obviously this one isn't doing that well. It's just trending and starting to kind of go up on the uptrend. They'll also show it to you where you can source it on AliExpress, for example, here and different options for you. But if we click in the store, for example, this one's Home Store Life. You can see this store is selling in India, obviously, so it's not relevant for us, but I just wanna give you an example. Over the last 30 days, this store's brought in about 17,000. They have a YouTube, a Meta, and a Twitter. They've been active for almost two and a half years now. Over the last 30 days, they've got 2,600 sales, 51 products listed. But here's the really cool thing. Obviously, you can sort it for new products and see the latest products that they offer. Why are they adding these types of products? Obviously, they might know something, something to keep in mind. What's recently sold? Again, tons of insight. But my favorite way to actually check is go back to the best sellers and then just sort it for the top selling products right here. So if you sort it here, obviously their best selling product is this one. If you sort it the other way, you'll see the worst selling products, which obviously just shows you that you can sort the revenue, sort the prices, sort the sales. So their best selling product is not the Miracle Teeth Whitener. It is the portable clothes and shoes dryer that's listed for 1071. They've gotten the most sales on this. It's brought in only about a little under two grand in revenue, right? So this is a bad store example, but I just wanted to show you an example of how I would use this. So as another example, let's click on the Pulse Band Pro here for Cart Click. Let's click on Cart Click, their store. And now we're not necessarily focused on selling this product, the Pulse Band Pro, which might be a good product, but what I'm interested in is going one step deeper. I'm gonna look at the store and then find some of their other best-selling products because a lot of people using software, whether it's Zeke Analytics or any other software, is gonna see a lot of the products on the trending, right? And a lot of sellers that are lazy, for lack of a better word, are just gonna try to target these specific products. But if you go one step deeper, it doesn't take much effort on your part. You can click the store and then sort their store for their best selling products. And maybe you're not gonna go after that Pulse Band, but maybe you find something else that is hot selling that isn't on the trending list that nobody else is sniping and nobody else really knows about. And now you have a great product opportunity that as you can see here, two examples are selling better than the one that we were potentially gonna go after that nobody else using even any of these softwares is going to see. And that's where the real bread and butter is. So for example, this electric zap, I know firsthand I have one of these, not this exact product, but something very similar. It's a game changer of a product because anybody that sits outside and gets just annoyed by mosquitoes, absolutely harassed, gets fed up with it. They look for a solution for it. You can't really spray for mosquitoes a little, you know, just go off on a tangent here. So you can't really pay a company to spray for them. But what does really work, obviously outside of like citronella candles that smell really terrible and kind of get all over the place is one of these electric bug zappers because they're attracted to the light. And then when they fly into it, it zaps them. If you stick this outside in a place where you're getting harassed by mosquitoes, you're literally just going to hear it go zzz, 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 zapping 
all the mosquitoes, right? It's taking them all out of the air. It's really easy to clean. So I know that this is a great product to sell. Again, what were we talking about in the beginning? It solves a specific problem or a specific pain point, and then you're not fighting an uphill battle because you know who your target market is. You have a product that obviously they need and want. It's a really severe pain point, so you can upsell them and upcharge them when you're drop shipping or reselling or whatever. Another example right here, the glow in the dark collar, another game changer, again, solves a pain point for those of us that might not be able to get our dogs out walked in the daylight. Maybe we lack some time. Maybe you just want to go for a walk at night, but you want to make sure that you and your dog are both safe from cars that might not be able to see you. The glow in the dark collar, game changer. I don't, I haven't sold this specific product, but I did use to drop ship the glow in the dark leash, which was a hot seller for a while and then kind of fell off for me. But I, I want to say I sold that for like six months. It was crazy. So both of these are another example of two potential products that we found that are one step further. Again, didn't take much effort on our part, but just by using ZK Analytics trending products on their homepage, we went one step further and we found some other hot sellers. So let's do one more example of another store. We come down this store right here is selling this plus size dress. This is daily fashion love. I'm going to do a different store because I don't really like to sell clothing. It's just a personal preference. So let's try this one right here, Kitchen Container, which is Essential Viva. You can see, again, all the information and insight for this store, when they are around since, their different social channels, the products that they have in stock. You can extrapolate it out longer if you'd like, and you can come down and sort for sale. So this one is their best-selling product, but they also have different other products. Let's find one more example of a different store. So this one right here, Bubblehead. And again, that was not their best-selling product, the 12-pack Ruby Space Triangles. Instead, the upgraded extra rugged baby sliders 32 pack is their best selling product. And these are actually relatively, you know, expensive. So I bet you there's some decent margin built in here. But I just wanted to run you through how to use Zeek Analytics. There is a ton of use cases for this software. The easiest way for most beginners is just hop into the trending products, go a step deeper on the store, find their top selling products reverse engineer them. It's literally showing you, it's spoon feeding it to you so you don't need to spend much time at all. And then list those, list products like that. You can obviously see what's working for them and how, emulate that. And then you're further along that metaphorical runway closer to the takeoff of your store. So check this out, guys. If you want to try Zeke Analytics, you can do so completely free through that link in the description. But as always, this is just what works for me. So I really hope it helps.